good Monday morning. I'm up to my brother's shop. D&D &D snowmobile parts. His Dalmatian is looking at me through the door. But he's not here. He's at work. But I'm here to show you... Oh, turn some lights on. To show you what our... Our wonderful daughter did. Yeah, there's the there's the piece of balance twine I tied on it and ran across the seat to hold the door shut. So, yeah. And here's the windshield. Oh, wait, no, it's not there anymore. Well, there's the wiper motor and stuff. Yeah, kind of dark in here for me with my sunglasses. I forgot to change them, but... Chelsea was riding through the woods with the window all the way up because it was you know it's been blazing hot in here the past week which is kind of dumb riding through the woods with the window open which i told her because she clipped a tree yep and you know ripped everything all to shit took the windshield out hit right here you can see tree bark this was all pushed back the metal piece inside here well right here is kind of kitty wampus. The door hinge is kind of kitty wampus. So rather than just try and beat on things and straighten them, I called the John Deere dealer and told him to scare me and send me the price of what the windshield and all these door hinges and everything are. Luckily, it didn't hurt the door. Not really sure what the true story is as to how she, you know, slid off the path a little and hit a tree, but she's 18. I think we can all draw our own conclusions. High speed and overload. So, so that's how we're starting our day is showing you, you know, okay, it's supposed to, we're supposed to get a wicked storm here early afternoon. So there's pretty much no sense in going to the field and getting something worked up and then get... God knows how much rain on it, so oh, yeah, I forgot I got the door handle. And I think this is my kid texting me from school because a teacher's pissing her off talking about the vid. Yeah. So she wanted my statistics that I get being on the county legislature. Because you know the news gives you such great statistics. You know, the ones that push the narrative. So anyways. Here's the handle for the windshield to open it and close it. So we'll put that on the seat for my brother. But I brought it up here so he can throw it all back together when the parts come. And if it's going to take, you know, a few weeks to get the windshield and the rest of the shit, we're just going to leave the door off and use it because we start drilling beans. If there's some rocks in the field after we're done drilling that we know we should go and pick, we take that. That way we're not, you know, pounding the field down with the tractor and so anyways i'm going back to the shop all right so anyways that's all ready to go as you can tell i've got a lot of empty seed bags that are in the dumpster but i don't have any more room they're picking it up tomorrow we're about out of seed and i've actually called the one the dealer and said I ain't gonna have enough so he's bringing me some more tomorrow but anyways i wanted to show you here let's do it right here in the tractor and see this is our where the top blue dot that's our radar for today here and starting in an hour and a half or so i'm hoping those oranges aren't horrible i mean Half an inch of rain wouldn't hurt anything. It's freaking getting dry. We went from, you know, like I said before, winter to summer. We skipped spring. Yeah. <clears throat> we went from 40s and 50s to bam, 80s. How do you like me now? Didn't. Whew. Didn't at all. Tomorrow's only going to be like 59 when this cold front comes through. So, but that corn across the road is out of the ground. You know, it's like two leaf or something. Just been out for a few days. But it was planted May 8th. So it was probably up within five, six days at the most. As hot as it's been. So, 
But, and you can see the sky is starting to get a little darker clouds here and there because it's coming from the, the southwest. You can feel it in the air. So we're not doing anything. I'm down, like I said, down to 60 acres of corn. Could have went and chisel plowed it last night when I got done planting what I had ready. But like I told the wife, it'll dry quicker sitting as raw ground than it will plowed up depending on what we get out of this because they showed areas east of us are supposed to get it worse than us but they showed anywhere from three quarters of an inch to some places getting an inch and a half two inches so yeah it'll dry up better sitting and then we'll get that done hook on to the new great plains one pass disc and start putting beans in the ground so oh and just a side note on chelsea you know having the issues she had with the gator she was very, you know, sorry that she did it. She knows she was wrong. And she got her ass chewed, but it's kind of hard to really rip into her too awful hard because from about the age of probably 14 to maybe my mid to late 20s, I destroyed a lot of shit, including, I don't know, multiple vehicles which is why i have to go to the chiropractor at least once sometimes twice a week because i've screwed my body up so bad you know wrecking vehicles wrecking dirt bikes wrecking snowmobiles wrecking a lot of shit so kind of hard to chew somebody else out too bad for having the first time she's ever really screwed something up when i've screwed many things up in my younger years so we were all young once. Good Tuesday morning. I just dumped 1.1 inches of rain from my rain gauge. Yeah. So, but I think if it stays decent, by Thursday we'll be back on. I don't have as many puddles in my driveway anymore because I put some run across in there. Obviously you can tell the dirt's dark, but I don't know if you can notice it from here. Let me walk to the road, but first corn, first corn, first field of corn that I planted. You can row from standing in the shop and see that it's up. Looking up through there. So, yes, sir. I got to imagine quite a bit of corn is up. That was planted May 8th. Sorry about the wind, it's windy today. Which is good, because that'll help dry things up. Like I said, we're down to our last 60 acres of corn. That's that farm, I don't know, six miles east or so of here. Oh, but today, and probably tomorrow, we're going to be a do-nothing day, so. I got everything ready, greased, planters greased. You already saw chisel plow points were flipped. So it's just a matter of getting back on the field. What I am going to do is get the book out for the new Great Plains Koala Disc and start going through that because that'll be the next thing that gets hooked on to after the chisel plow. Loading corn this morning. Too wet to be in the field down to what's probably the last load in that bin, it'll be close. Might actually lack a little, have to pull forward to the front bin. Woo! The wipes in the bin. All right, so for all you new people, before you start ragging on me, I have allergies really bad. When it gets down to the very end, I'll go in with my mask, but I try to avoid being in the bins as much as possible. Cause it's a killer for me, especially the soybean bin. So she's in there with a leaf blower following in the following the auger around. That leaf blower works really, really good. And you can see the dust rolling around the, in the doorway there. Yeah. Not good for me. Look at the gray-haired woman. <laughs> That's right. I'm too old to work. I need to retire. Gray from the dust. 
we just had to pull forward to the front bend for i don't know maybe three four ton chelsea needs to mow out here this weekend it's getting deep oh we can go this way so for you non-farmer new people show you what the inside of the bin looks like when it's empty and what we still have to do in here Whew, there's still dust not quite as bad though well, that ain't horrible these outer two sump holes that you drain to be able to turn that on the sweep arm we have to push that back around to here so it's back in place <coughs> i will re-sweep this in the fall before we turn and start filling it Well, watch out for the door behind you. You ready? Yep. A little bit. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's good. Maybe just a hair further. That's good. So when those two, when the corn here goes down, so you can see this, then you can turn it on because you can't really turn that on until it gets the pressure off of it. So that'll drain, those two holes will drain this down to show it. So now we shut the doors and it's until fall when I take the, which I've shown you in previous videos, take that platform off, grease the grease fittings, check the chain. Lots of echo in here too. And re-sweep it out, even though it is pretty decent. That leaf blower was a great investment. Not only for cleaning equipment off, but we've now found out for being in the bins. But anyways, I'm going to end this video because, I mean, now they're talking. And as you can still see, the dirt's still pretty dark across the road. That was the main reason why we didn't go and chisel that 60 acres, knowing it was going to rain. But now they're talking, you know, yesterday was only like, 60 for a high today's only supposed to be 63 64 and now they've decided that it might rain tonight and sounds like it's definitely going to rain tomorrow being thursday which originally it wasn't going to then friday's going to be mid to upper 80s and saturday we could hit 90 and then next week go back down into the upper 60s low 70s which is you know normal for us around 70 this time of year and chances of thunderstorms when it gets to be close to 90. So rather than keep dragging this video out, we had to unhook that from the fertilizer wagon to put on the auger because this time of year, everything's hooked up to something. The 5115 still hooked to the rock picker. But originally, this corn was contracted for June. So I figured, okay, we'd be done planting. You know, that 6420 would go on the sprayer but that would be unhooked from the rock picker by then but when i called and sold my last load of soybeans yesterday the broker said we'll probably get that corn too so all right whatever and this is pretty dusty so i'm leaving it sit outside so that if it does rain it'll kind of wash it off a little but so we're just gonna end this because you know why drag it on because i'm not sure when we're gonna get in the field again it might be another three or four days. Who knows? Because when you get over an inch of rain and it's kind of chilly, as you can tell, it takes a little while to dry things up. So, But it's May 18th, so I'm not... The fact that we pounded last week pretty hard and got the majority of the corn in, I'm pretty satisfied. And beans, yeah, it's nice to get them in as early as you can too, but... You know, like I said, it's the 18th of May. I'd rather plant some beans on the 25th of May than be planting corn towards the 25th of May, towards the 1st of June, because the beans will still yield pretty good. So, so we're going to call it, and we'll see you in whatever the next one is. So go check out the Grumpy Farmer apparel, and it is what it is. Actually, one more thing. 
I get emails all the time from uh, companies wanting me to try shit, you know. And usually it's stupid shit that has nothing to do with farming. You know, try, try these frying pans, whatever. Are we a cooking channel? Oh, we've watched your YouTube channel, and we think it would be great if you would, you know, try our products and on film and tell people what you think. Yeah, well, yeah. Maybe you haven't watched my super clean video, but anyways, I got one the other day that I did reply to, and actually the woman emailed me this morning, well, I checked and saw it this morning, I think she might have emailed me late last night, but it's for uh, walkie-talkie radios, which we use on the farm, especially in the fall, I have one in the combine, Barb has one, has one in the tractor and cart. So they are sending me some free walkie-talkie radios to try out. I also want to try them in the hunting blinds because when you're in that top one and somebody's in the bottom one with that hill being between us, the ones that we got don't always work that great. So I'll try them. If they suck, I'm going to tell you they suck. If they're good, I'm going to tell you they're good. So, you know, I mean, you, those of you who follow Mike Price too from Mike P7810, you see that he got some work shoes and boots and stuff sent to him. I haven't got that yet, but... I did, I've never mentioned this yet, but I've owned them for probably three months now. I bought some Brunt work shoes. I don't know if you've all heard of Brunt, B-R-U-N-T. But obviously I'm not paid by them. They don't even know I'm doing this. But with my feet and back the way they are, you know, from what I described to you earlier, my piss pounding of my body when I was younger, these are the most comfortable work shoes I've ever owned. So there's an unpaid, I don't know what you want to call it, an unpaid advertisement for Brunt only because I think they're awesome work shoes. Now I'm done.